We spend a lot of time on our couches. We use it as an office, a movie theater, and even a dining room table. And if you've got kids at home like I do, you really start to wonder, what is my couch made of? And does it affect my health? Where does that material even come from? And how might it affect the environment? Now, the textile industry is the second most polluting industry in the world after oil. So there are a lot of decisions to make if you want to buy a couch that isn't having a negative impact on the environment. In this video, we're diving into how our favorite spot in the house might affect our health, our wealth, and the planet. And at the end, we'll give a checklist of what makes up the healthiest and most sustainable couch possible. Now, hit that like and subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest in sustainable home improvement. Now, if you're ready, let's do it. So anyone who watches this channel knows we're kind of obsessed with indoor air quality. A lot of folks think that air quality is mostly impacted by smelly things like paint, glues, and varnishes, but wood and upholstery in our furniture can be a surprising source of harmful fumes. So flame retardants are typically the main culprit, and many sofas are treated with them. There are a number of studies that link exposure to flame retardants to endocrine disruption and neurotoxic effects, especially in kids and pregnant women. Now, 90% of Americans have flame retardants in their bodies, and that's kind of scary. There's also some concern when it comes to chemical treatments for couches like stain repellents and antimicrobial treatments. Some of these chemicals, especially fluorinated compounds, will never break down in the environment, and they've been linked to liver and kidney cancer, reproductive and development problems, and even immunosuppressant and immunotoxic effects. Plywood can also be a source of formaldehyde, which is a known carcinogen. There are calls to reform the Toxic Substance Control Act to require more before market health testing, but for now, consumers can arm themselves with the right info and ask lots of questions before buying. There are some great articles and studies done on all of these health impacts. We'll put some resources in the description below. Now that we know the health dangers of an unhealthy couch, how can we shop for a healthy couch? As we learned a moment ago, some flame retardants cause cancer and other nasty things. Now, these harmful flame retardant chemicals bind to dust particles on your floor. So vacuum more often and make sure you or your kids wash your hands after you've spent time on the floor. If you have a couch made between 1975 and 2013, you might want to consider replacing it altogether. In 1975, a California law called TB117 mandated that flame retardants be incorporated into all different types of fabrics and upholstery. Almost all manufacturers follow this law nationwide. And once we caught on that flame retardants came with some serious health risks, the law was amended in 2013 to ban certain flame retardants. Now in 2014, California went even further with the Toxic Furniture Right to Know Bill, which mandated that furniture manufacturers have to disclose which flame retardant chemicals might be used on their furniture. Now, most cheaply made couches and sectionals are made with a plywood base. Now, plywood often is a source of formaldehyde, which is a known human carcinogen. Now, some sofas are even finished with paints, varnishes, and sealants that can off-gas irritating fumes. Now, the best way to avoid this altogether is to look for a sofa or a sectional that is made from solid wood and is finished with natural wood finishes. Most cushions are stuffed with polyurethane foam, which is a petrochemical product and is actually highly flammable. Now, flammable usually means it comes with fire retardants, and, well, we've talked enough about those already. Cushion fabric is also a source of hazardous air pollutants like methylene chloride and TDI. Now, look for cushions made from natural latex, eco wool fiber, or even recycled content fiber. Now, buying secondhand is a great way to divert furniture from landfills and extend their useful life. Now, just be mindful that the regulations for healthy materials have improved in recent years. So, an older couch might contain banned flame retardants or formaldehyde in the plywood. Try to find information about added treatments or uh, retardants on the label or from the manufacturer. 
and be sure to vacuum around your couch frequently since this is where most of the nasty material ends up. So we've talked a lot about healthy couches, but what about the planet? If your environmental impact is top of mind when shopping for products for your home, then here are three things to consider when you go shopping for your next sofa. For both natural and synthetic fibers, it's important to know where the material actually comes from. Even in the case of a natural fiber like cotton, it's often grown with a ton of chemical pesticides that can harm wildlife through the soil and waterways and can even poison factory workers who are often underpaid. For synthetic fibers, these are made from fossil fuels, which we all know is a highly polluting industry and often contributes to the microplastics problem. Now, no matter the material you choose, look for a company that promises to do fair trade with their suppliers. Now, when choosing a material for your couch, ask questions like, how much water was used by the company to make the textile? Were the workers treated and paid fairly? what sort of chemicals were used in the production process and do any of these chemicals pose a health risk to my family uh, or the environment it can be challenging to find the answers to all of these questions but luckily there are labels out there and certifications to help you guide your research now we'll go over these a little bit later even the most durable couch eventually makes its way to the street curb and eventually to the local dump you can reduce waste by buying durable, long-lasting furniture rather than something maybe less expensive that will wear out in five years. Look for manufacturers that use recycled materials in their manufacturing processes. There are some manufacturers making products that contain biodegradable material and others have even set up a recycling program to put all of that wood and textile material back into the value chain. Do you know any companies that have set up recycling programs for their furniture? We'd love to hear about them in the comments below. So what is the best fabric for a sofa or a sectional? Well, it really depends what's important to you. Now, we're gonna talk about the five more popular couch fabrics and how they perform for durability, health, and environmental impacts. If you want this info for later, we put a link to a handy article that covers 10 different materials in the description down below. Cotton might be the most natural material used to manufacture couches. For durability, cotton withstands wear, fading, and pilling, but it's prone to stains and wrinkling. As a natural material, cotton biodegrades and won't stick around in a landfill, but the manufacturing process is very water and chemically intensive, with residues often filtering into local watersheds where it affects wildlife and human communities. Since it's a natural fiber, it has a place in your super healthy home, but watch out for cotton that has added treatments for spill resistance. Some cotton is blended with petroleum-based synthetic fibers to make it more durable and spill resistant. In a few minutes, we'll give an overview of labels and certifications to help you find a healthy and sustainable cotton couch. Nylon is a synthetic fabric made from petroleum and was the first fabric made entirely in a lab. It's often blended with other materials and is considered to be one of the strongest upholstery fabrics out there. Nylon doesn't stain or wrinkle and in some blends it often resists fading, crushing and pilling. Now, when it comes to the environment, nylon is a big loser. Not only does it originate from the highly polluting petrochemical industry, the manufacturing process produces nitrous oxide, which is 300 times more potent than CO2. No part of nylon is biodegradable, so it will be in landfills for hundreds of years. Now, on the health side, there's nothing too positive to say about any synthetic material nylon included. Nylon contains flame retardants that have been connected to a swath of health problems. Flame retardants are regulated in the US, but the same standards don't apply to couches made in China and elsewhere. Nylon manufacturing also uses a ton of chemicals like sulfuric acid and formaldehyde. These residues can be harmful to our health, causing cancer, skin allergies, headaches, and more. 
Now, linen is another popular natural material, and if you ask me, it makes cotton look like garbage. In terms of durability, linen is prone to wrinkling and staining, but quality linen that is tightly spun is plenty durable for a family home. On the environmental side, linen is made from flax, a plant that is naturally immune to insects and disease, so doesn't need a lot of chemical treatments when growing the plants. It uses one seventh of the chemicals used to grow cotton and just one quarter of the water. It doesn't dye well though, so leaving linen its natural color is your best bet for a beautiful chemical-free couch. And lastly, the health impacts. Linen is sometimes treated for spills and stains with products that are less than awesome. You can choose not to use these, or better yet, find a manufacturer that makes stain treatments from non-toxic and natural sources. If you know of any cool products, I'd love to hear about them in the comments below. Another material I want to talk about is rayon, sometimes called viscose or bamboo silk. Rayon earned a spot on this list because, well, it's a natural material that actually kind of sucks. It's made from spun up cellulose fiber from fast growing plants like bamboo, beech, or pine. Now, rayon doesn't win any awards for durability, and it's prone to fading, staining, and wrinkling. In terms of its impacts on the environment, rayon wins points for being biodegradable. However, it requires a ton of water and dangerous chemicals to produce, like carbon disulfide. And in some countries, we're seeing the clear cutting of old growth forests to manufacture rayon. On the health side, trace amounts of carbon disulfide from rayon can cause nausea, headache, vomiting, chest pain, and insomnia. All right, lastly, we thought this wouldn't be a complete sofa video without mentioning leather. Now, leather's been a go-to for folks who are looking for maybe a more luxurious look and feel and don't wanna worry at all about spills and stains. Unfortunately, if leather is your thing, I don't have great news for you as far as a product that will make you feel 100% good about your purchase. Now, the leather conversation in of itself is a beast. So we'll be linking to more info on just that. But the gist of it is this. There are really three types of leather. Real top grain leather made from cowhide, faux leather, also known as PU leather or polyurethane leather, or for the green washed out there, vegan leather. And third is bonded leather, which is basically a mix of the first two. Now the real dilemma with real leather, even with the cleanest versions that are vegetable uh, tanned and dyed, is whether or not you're okay with using cowhide as a material or whether the alternative polyurethane leather, which is a cocktail from the petrochemical industry, is a better choice for you. In either case though, while leather looks great, it's not in our top picks for a healthy fabric that's light on the planet. It just doesn't come close to other natural fabrics that we've talked about here today. In this video, we've discussed lots of things to look out for when shopping for a couch. But luckily, there are some amazing organizations that have developed reliable certifications to help you shop for a healthy and sustainable couch. Now we'll run through these quickly and we'll put some links in the description to help you continue your research. First, look for the Forest Stewardship Council's FSC certification for products that come from responsibly managed forests. The Sustainable Forestry Initiative is another label for sustainable wood products. They manage a searchable product database on their website. The Sustainable Furnishing Council lists and rates furniture companies based on environmental impacts like carbon emissions, waste stream pollutants, and recyclability. Now, the CertiPure certification program recognizes foam products that are free of harmful substances like formaldehyde and phthalates. However, just like for mattresses, this indicates that the cushion in question is in fact made from a petrochemical base. Now, Green Guard certification and Green Guard Gold certification are given to companies that minimize off-gassing or volatile organic compounds into our homes. Ecotech Standard 100 is an internationally used program that certifies products based on high standards of consumer safety. Sofas fall under their class four of products. The Global Organics Textiles Standard or GOTS is a global processing standard that defines organic textile status and sets social and environmental standards 
for harvesting and manufacturing. The Just label administered by the Living Futures Institute is like a nutritional facts label for a broad range of products. It gives scores on social indicators like diversity and worker safety. The DECLARE label, also administered by the Living Futures Institute, uses uh, the same principle as the JUST label with a focus on the health impacts of a product. Cradle to Cradle is a personal favorite of mine. This product standard recognizes products designed for a circular economy, prioritizing the use of recycled and recyclable materials. And lastly, furniture made in the U.S. should comply with TC-117 2013 to ensure it's not made with any of the toxic flame retardants that were mandatory in California up to 2013. So what is the healthiest and most sustainable couch? It really depends what's most important to you. I'm not going to name any specific brands, but based on everything we know about couches, here are some boxes it should check. Make sure the material is made from an organic natural textile that is sustainably grown like linen or hemp. Cushion stuffing should be free of polyurethane foam, so maybe organic latex or eco wool. Your couch should be free of dangerous or banned flame retardants. And be sure not to add any toxic chemical treatments for stain or mold resistance. Any framing should be solid wood that is certified by the Forest Stewardship Council, or SFI. And lastly, any plastics should be made from recycled materials or can be recycled at the end of its useful life. So do you agree with this list? Or maybe we forgot something. Tell us in the comments below. We love to get heated about anything that goes into a home. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to get more sustainable home improvement tips. And head on over to buildwithrise.com where we publish new articles and videos every day to help you create a home that benefits your health, your wealth, and the planet. Thanks for tuning in guys and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks so much for tuning in guys. For more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the button below and also check out buildwithrise.com, the only place to turn any home improvement project into a sustainable one.